Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video guys, we will show you how to bring your engine uh, to top dead center known as TDC point on Mazda guys. Uh, it will be Mazda CX-7 that we're working on, but it will work actually on Mazda Speed 3 as well, the one with the 2.3 turbo engine and maybe the 2.3 non-turbo and the 2.5 might be uh, that way as well. We will guys have more than 200 videos on this car and every car that we get at the shop because our mission guys is to save you as much money as we can. So let's go ahead, start on it and show you what needs to be done. So now right here on the back side of the engine to towards the... Uh, you can see towards that uh, CV axle there is one bolt guys okay that we need to remove okay let me show you now on the engine that we have removed right here while we're removing that bolt okay where exactly that thing is this is the spare engine guys looking at the engine block okay this is your CV axle here on the back side right there this is the engine block bolt that we need to remove and this is for top dead center this bolt right there guys okay you can definitely see it so we'll remove that bolt now okay that's what we're doing we'll just remove it by hand and later okay we're going to go ahead and install this one now you will need to remove your crankshaft position sensor it actually goes the other way okay that is guys it has only two bolts we forgot to mention that uh, two bolts that you need to remove and disconnect the wire so once you remove that sensor, okay, you need to go ahead and remove the bolt. So we just get it loose now and later we're going to install that uh, top dead center pin. What this pin does, you screw it in the engine in this hole and when you turn the engine to hit top dead center, it's going to contact the pin guys. Okay, and this one will be top dead center. So now we need to screw that one in. All the tools and parts that we use guys in our videos will be listed in the description of the video below. So please guys, check it out. Quite a few videos will be there on our channel and each one of them we try to share all the tools and parts that we use. So make it more convenient for you if you need to replace something. Okay, we got this one tight. It's tight all the way in. We didn't even need to use a wrench. You gotta make sure that it's all all the way in and when we get now a 21 millimeter socket or 13 16 standard socket works as well uh, we're going to turn it until we contact that top dead center pin that's it right there we cannot go more this is top dead center let's remove that thing just to show you quick okay check out how the crankshaft pulley aligns okay the holes align there so this is top dead center all the way now on top guys at top dead center you're going to have your camshafts okay those things here horizontal okay horizontal to the to the point that we can actually install okay that plate on the camshafts okay it will go on the camshaft uh, you might need to move them just uh, an in like a uh, hair back and forth a little bit until it gets in because uh, it could be just okay okay just a little bit okay this one is almost going in so yep yeah, this one hope oh, we went we went too much okay let's go forward a little bit oh almost right there and I missed it it just such a tight fit okay that locking plate Okay, let's go back, back, back. A little bit more. Okay, perfect. I went in on this camshaft. Okay, and here on this one. Okay, we need to go back just a hair. Okay, to make sure that it's everything aligned. Okay, just need to align it a little bit more. Okay, guys, and perfect this is it you can see it went in so this is guys top dead center you need to install that pin okay and you know that the engine is the top dead center uh, now if your guys not putting timing chains or anything like that but you need to bring it to top dead center to check timing to check uh, something else uh, 
you will know how to do it you don't even have to remove the valve cover all you have to do just use that pin guys and you can check the top dead center on the engine like that so that's how you guys bring the engine to the top dead center hopefully guys the video will be helpful to some of you please hit that subscribe button for more videos and see you guys next time